Janice, are you there? At your service, sir. Enter the Manosphere. Of course. How can I assist you today? Give me some of that dating foolishness. Will do, sir. It's not easy being a straight woman. It's actually, I, I rarely meet someone that gets me smitten, you know? Being straight, it's actually a struggle for me because I, I'm attracted to men, but I don't find men attractive. <laughs> Welcome to Manosphere Highlights Daily. Shout out to Patreon gang member Mr. Purnell for this video. This is his message. MHD, hope all is well. I have another video suggestion that I think you'll have a field day with. Crashing stock prices on pure gold. Mr. Purnell, thank you for your video suggestion. Salute! Patreon gang, salute! Crashing stock value is definitely a major point in this video. We've created several videos about female comedians and as I always emphasize, the best comedy contains an element of truth. Comedians often play with the truth by using exaggeration, satire, irony and comedic timing to highlight certain aspects of reality in a humorous and entertaining way. And we're gonna highlight these truths. Let's talk about it. Now it's time for us to get into this and do what we gotta do. Because we men ain't we? Yeah. We men ain't we? Yeah. But I escaped Orange County in my 20s. I moved to LA. I was single for most of my 20s and I, I hooked up with everybody. I, <laughs> I crushed it in my 20s. I did. I put up solid numbers on the board in my 20s. Because if you're a single woman in your 20s, it's very easy. M men are just available. They're everywhere. They're very easy to access, you know? Like, it was hard for me to turn down all the men. Okay. It just feels like, you know when there's a plate of fries on the table and you eat them even if you're not hungry? You know? I was like, someone take these dicks away from me. Like, I'm... I'm stuffed. I'm stuffed. I'm not even hungry. Take them away. I'm not even hungry. Stop. But you'll have, if you'll have one, I'll have one. You know what I mean? It's, it's the weekend. Let's be bad. It's the weekend. Classic scenario. Rides the hot dog carousel in her 20s in her prime during her college days. I want you to keep two things in mind before we continue. One, I want you to look at her. This woman is average looking. Women don't have to be beauty queens to In her own words, men were easy to access in her 20s. This comes from an average looking woman. Keep this in mind. Two, she openly, without shame, admits to having multiple sexual partners during her 20s, racking up a body count higher than the predator in the process. This says a lot about the times we are living in, fellas. Women in their prime are deliberately doing hot dog carousel time, not knowing what's waiting for them in their 30s. Keep this in mind. Let's continue. But I'm single still in my 30s, and it's hard in my 30s because I have to prepare for my future, even though I'm single. Like, I froze my eggs last year. I don't know if anyone's done it. Women my age, we have to think about this now. And if you've, it's miserable. It's painful, you give yourself shots every day. It's so expensive. And I did this entire procedure and I don't even know if I want kids. And I don't even know if my husband wants kids. And I don't even know who he is. <laughs> who am I doing this for? Who is this useless man I'm supposed to marry? I haven't even met this guy yet and I'm mad at him. <laughs> it's never gonna work, okay? Where did we hear this before, guys? She says she spent most of her 20s and 30s working on her career. Now she admits she struggles to get a date. Thing. You know, when I was young, I didn't dream about getting married and having babies. It's not that I didn't think I would do that. It's just that wasn't in my dreams. To be honest with you, I was always worried that I wouldn't be successful. Leftover women alert. Like many, 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 many modern women, she didn't prioritize finding a husband and starting a family during her most fertile years when she was receiving plenty of attention 
from men. She was crushing it. I hooked up with everybody. I, <laughs> I crushed it in my 20s. I did. Now in her late 30s, with her biological clock ticking, she's not only worried about not having children, but also frustrated with finding her husband. Freezing her eggs is a coping mechanism. <laughs> I'm 36 and I've never been married. So I've never met the one or whatever, you know, but I, even though I've never met this guy, I think about him. I wonder about him, you know, like, what is he like? Where does he live? What does he do? You know, I'm thinking he's got to be pretty special, right? But I don't think we should hype up our soulmates this much because I've been waiting my entire life to meet this one man. And I'm, I'm not trying to sound mean, but I know he's not going to be worth the wait. <laughs> You know, I'm sure he's a nice guy, you know what I mean? But it's like, it's just gonna be some guy named Greg in a graphic tee. If someone, if someone pointed at Greg and said, Leslie, you get to marry this man, but you have to wait 36 years. I wouldn't even get in line, okay? You understand? I'd wait half an hour tops for someone like Greg. You see, this is what the hot dog carousel does. This is what an abundance of access to the opposite sex does. This woman is overstimulated. Even though she still gets attention from men in her late 30s, none of these men are good enough. Check this out. Are you dating anybody? Right now? Uh, I No. No. I'm still looking for you're the best one. Okay, you're still <laughs> looking for the best one. These women will keep looking for the best one until the day they die. They can't help it. Remember, this is an average looking woman speaking. Okay, let's continue. I do want to get married though. I, have, I, I can't believe I want to get married still because I, I see you married people and you guys don't look like you're having a lot of fun. Okay. What do people always describe marriage as? It's always work, compromise, sacrifice. You know, like, are you in love? Are you training for the Olympics? Like, why are you so sweaty? It's so, like, every time I, I ask my married friends, like, yeah, how's it going? How's married life? But you guys are so dejected, you know? You guys always look like the losing coach in a post-game interview. Fun was never the foundation of marriage. You can blame Disney for that. In modern times, we have this romanticized idea of marriage and that's false. It's interesting that she still wants to get married even though she basically offered everything she has to offer without marriage. So what's the benefit of marrying her? Check this out. You know, sometimes people have opinions. Well, oh, you must be picky. Oh, you must this, you must that. And you know, those, what I worried about and what I have always been sensitive to with not being married and being over the age of 40 were those things, those thoughts from other people. Why isn't she married? What's wrong with her? She must not be picking right. Women don't want to be married, but they want a wedding. They want a wedding ring, wedding dress, wedding cake, and wedding pictures. That's why the guy cannot be an average joke. Status is essential. Are you dating anybody? Right now? Uh, I No. No. I'm still looking for you're the best one. Okay, you're still <laughs> looking for the best one. It's not easy being a straight woman. It's actually, I, I rarely meet someone that gets me smitten, you know? Being straight, it's actually a struggle for me because I, I'm attracted to men, but I don't find men attractive. <laughs> <laughs> this is pure gold. Here it comes. The women always seem to laugh really hard. Do you know what I mean? It's like, I want you to hold me, but do you always have to wear a hat? You know? Is that how you guys get ready? Look how good she looks, and that's how you get... Can you guys just try? Can you guys just try a little bit to get ready for us? I can't believe I'm... I can't believe I'm straight. I can't believe it, because I... Women are beautiful. Any woman will walk by and she could change your life. 
but I've never seen some floating hat in a crowd. <laughs> Who is that man? <laughs> right there in those Costco basketball shorts? Oh my God. These are the worst. Like I said earlier, this woman is an average looking woman and like the majority of women, she is only attracted to the top 10% of men. And I'm telling you, in that body count that's higher than the predator, you're gonna find a chad or two. Run! Get to the chopper! That's why it's chad or bust. Women truly believe what she said about women being beautiful and having the ability to change your life with their appearance. That's where part of the entitlement is coming from. Mix that with dating apps and social media, and you've just put the sense of entitlement on steroids. I don't know. I'll find someone fun. I, I'm, I like to have, I like to party still. Like I love music festivals, love house music. I love that stuff. I just don't know why the most successful DJs are men. It doesn't make sense to me because in real life, the best DJs are clearly straight women. Okay, because we're out here remixing men all the time, right? Every time we break up with a man and send him off to his next relationship, we're like, remix! It's Jason, but with career ambition! Like, oh, here we go, it's Anthony, but he's a better communicator! Another one. It's Michael, but with clean towels! Like, you guys don't even know. Like, this is how women support women. We just go around fixing each other's future husbands under the table, no commission. Just like, here's Tyler, he talks to his mom now. There you go, there's Tyler. There's... Here's, here's Brian, he's an active listener. Congrats on the engagement. I'm so happy for you too, you know? Women, red pill, men. The reason men are opting out is because of women. Women will take credit for making men better, but they will not take responsibility for creating the indifference men have towards them. It's like those mothers taking credit for their sons going to the NBA, but pointing the finger at daddy when their sons go to jail. I don't know. I'm exhausted. Being a woman is, is it's enough work being a woman. It's like, we, all we do is get ready. <laughs> We all, we all got ready tonight. We all got ready. And when the day ends, we go home and get ready for bed. <laughs> Do you understand? Every night, it's an hour out of my life. When the sun sets, I just lock myself in my bathroom and wash off product with more product. <laughs> and sigh myself to sleep. It's the worst. I have never seen a straight man get ready for bed. You guys just pee, pass out, wake up, and get promoted. Women in general are exhausting. To the point, they exhaust themselves. I'm exhausted. She just explained to you why men are holding the top positions. When men go shopping, they know exactly what they want. When women go shopping, they F around in the store. It's exhausting. Never go shopping with a woman. Why do you think they can't pick a man? Paradox of choice. Top positions are for leaders, individuals who can inspire, innovate, and guide their teams towards success, while setting a strong example for others to follow. Modern women in general worry about everything. Therefore, they are burned out, stressed out, depressed, and the most unhappy ever. Fellas, be careful. When times get hard, when she hits the fan, that's when these women will be looking for sponsors. Guard your wallets. It's predicted that 45% of women will be single and childless by 2030. And I truly believe that number will be higher by then. I hate you guys. Don't clap at your privilege in front of me. 
You guys are the worst. It's like we're while the women are getting ready, you guys are like waiting for us in bed, just like kind of hopeful. You know, like maybe she'll blow me when she's done. It's like, no, I won't. Manasri, we working. Protect yourself at all times. This video has officially been highlighted. <laughs>